So today I'm going to talk to you about syndicates. Um, first things first, my mic was muted. Um, and I did not know that the entire time. So Sorry, I'm on my secondary account though. So today we are um, doing syndicates as I said before. They're unlockable at Master Rank 3. As you can see, my Master Rank 4, so I have them unlocked. So you're going to start off with your first syndicate. I chose Orbiters of Hexes and Cephalon Soda. And you'll have a standing limit and whatnot starting off. They hate the Redville and the Redville hates them. Same thing with the parent sequence because the parent sequence and the Redville is the same. But the new Loka and the Steel Meridian are locked in as neutral to my syndicates. But they also like my enemy syndicates. So those are the ones that you're going to want to use for when your syndicate is like... You've leveled up or orbiters or whatever, for my case, orbiters. But you've leveled up orbiters, you've gotten all you want, right? Advanced and let's say you want something I from the parent sequence, still meridian, whatever. You will get... You can use those ones to squish your way into the other syndicates. And that's the way that you can have effectively four syndicates open at the same time. As you can see... They hate me, and eventually when you get too far enough, the hating syndicates will actually invade you, and you'll get a specter drop when you kill all the enemies. So, what we're, what you can get from this is weapons, supplies, augments, weapon augments. Uh, you can get relic caches, which I actually like, because you get three random relics, and whenever a new Warframe comes out of the vault, you can just go ahead and grab them. So, upon leveling up into your syndicate to level 1, 3, 4, the higher you get, you'll actually have these missions unlocked. Now, your allied syndicates will actually gain from you having your um, other team's mission. So, if I do an orbiter's mission like I'm doing right now, I'll get uh, 1370 uh, standing for orbiters. But... I will also get half that standing for the Cephalon. And enemies will minus 100% and Eliminate the other enemy threats. will minus by 50%. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go put on loot detector, put on animal instinct, whatever one. So I was actually kind of stupid here, couldn't find it. But this cache is kind of hard to find. And you'll just be looking for hidden rooms and whatnot. So, me, I'm like, you have to bullet jump up there or something. So, I'm just gonna clear the room because I know it's here. I'm gonna clear the room, open up lockers. You can actually get tons of sculptures like you're gonna see in a bit. But you're gonna get sculptures from this. I look up and I'm like, hmm, it's not here. And I saw a little rail there. I'm like, you can jump up there. So then, I finally get up there, and I figure out nothing's there. But hidden caches like these will always, almost always, have your syndicate medallion. So as I'm going through the mission right now, I'm just going to be killing everything, grabbing my boxes and whatnot, that I need a break. And this is quite passive when you have loot detector on, because you can just look, oh, there's a bunch of boxes this way, and then you'd be like, and usually the enemy spawns will lead you to most of the battle. I ended up getting 7 out of 8 battles, you'll always have 8 battles in your mission. So, if I'm looking at my radar here, I'm like, there's a bunch of stuff over there. Usually you look for clumps of stuff together, and then you break them, and you break all of them, and you still can't pick up that white box, then you're gonna look down at the ground and you're gonna find a medallion. Now, effectively, what these medallions are is your specialized to your syndicate. So, because I'm in Orbiter's Hexes, I get a medallion that gives me 500, one that gives me 1,000, and overall, just a really good one that gives you 5,000. Now, killing everything in the mission, you will get your mission done quicker, but like I said, the enemies draw you to it. So, I'm actually going with this bullet jump and get over here. Now, places like these, I 
I've actually had to hook over to a place like this and grab all the medallions. There was one medallion over there, and you'll never find, to this date, two medallions hanging out by each other. As you're seeing, the enemy levels aren't that high. So even the new players starting at Master Rank 3 should not have all that much trouble. Going through the mission, I'm gonna break everything, I'm gonna be like, hmm, there's... That's a medallion right there. That's a medallion. So I mark it, you can mark it if you have a teammate, but max medallion. That's the one that gives you 5,000. So you really want to pick up all the medallions you can get, because that's a lot of syndicate reward. So I'm just gonna hack this so I don't have enemies on me. And from here, we're just gonna be going throughout the mission, grabbing everything. So, you're gonna find a medallion here. Up here, here, we're gonna find this hole here, like I said before. I break this box, I'm like, there's something hiding behind me. I thought it was kind of here, because usually they hide them under staircases, usually all that stuff. So, going through here, I'm like, mm -hmm. still not missing. So, the medallion, grab it, and break it. No, Dur during this process, you will find sculptures, and I'm repeating in the world like that, right there, as a big enemy, you'll find stuff here. But, you'll find. Frame fighter data, you'll find Skomer Tone, and overall, you'll find stuff like that. Having loot detector on the screen, you'll find lots of stuff. And by the time I left each planet, skipping through them, I usually had all the stuff. So, as long as we just keep slashing through here. We go up here, and there's some boxes just sitting up there. Then we'll go over this one. Well, there's something in here, so I might as well check it out. As I go through here, I'm like, ooh, medallion. As you can see, we are almost done with this mission. So we might as well just kill the last individual, scrapping the rest of the material. Now, this method is usually good for just grabbing materials, everything, basically. Just as you're finishing up, you're gonna want to go to extraction because extraction sometimes has these medallions and whatnot there. As you can see, we got seven out of eight medallions, which is pretty good. Although we do not find the last one. I can't find it. Spent like ten minutes in here. Anyways, for that ten minutes, I'm gonna get about fifteen hundred standing. And as you can see, I got Cephalosuitus, too. Okay, after we're done with that, you'll see that I'm ready to rank up. 
you rank up, you can buy more stuff using syndicate status. What can we do? And as you can see, because I'm only journey. a principled, I can't grab all any of these augments, weapon augments, but I can buy the specters and whatnot. Now, those specters will help later on, but for right now, we're just gonna talk about how you gonna you put your sigils on. You'll get the weapons specified to that stuff. And what the sigil does is you'll passively get the uh, status just for killing enemies, playing, and whatnot. And you gotta equip that under regalia in your appearance menu. We're gonna go do that right now. So, what you're gonna do is appearance, regalia. Now, you're gonna see two options, front sigil, back sigil. I would just put the front sigil on, put it Orbiters of Hexes, change it to red, and then as you can see, after we have it colored and whatnot, pretty graded, um, we're going to be gaining it overall just in general for Cephalon Suda and Orbiters of Hexes. Hope you found this guide useful, um, like, subscribe. You'll be doing missions all over the board after you get this done. Anyways, so, and then you'll complete your star chart anyway. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Give me watch time. And bye.